welcome back to my youtube channel if you are our youtube channel if you are new here welcome 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 my name is olorato global now in today's video i'm going to be answering um fun fact questions that i googled <laughs> i googled them actually i'm going to answer them for you guys to give our new family members like them to let them know who i am i feel like this is a way for you guys to understand and know who i am from our channel so the first question is, who did I look up to as a child? Who did I look up to as a child? I would say my mom. Hmm. I would say my mom actually because she was always pushing us to show. I would just see how she's not very adopting. So I would just see how even though things are tight, she, you know, she always has a positive mind towards things. Always pushing us to be better version of ourselves. Always as working trying to do a lot of you know that do a lot of do a lot of businesses when we were small so also there to be adult thing like i think it's just going to be my mom honestly speaking yes my mom then what is my favorite hobby haha <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say sleepy since i was going to say i was going to say sewing because i love sewing but i really i didn't have not sewing in long way i think i just see it's case with my sister like few days to go a uh, new year but hmm, i really do not know i just feel like i would say i wanted to say i really want to say sewing but i've not sewn in a long time because of school and then when i come back from school i'm going to do internship and then everything's just jam packed after internship is resuming so no but it's still going to be sewing for me honestly speaking let's not talk too much sewing so it is then the other one is if I could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? France, <laughs> like France. I really like France. I, I even applied for internships in France, but they didn't pick me. <laughs> oh God, I was so picked. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting though, but I really want to go there. I think, I think one major thing that triggered me going to Paris, France, is um, Emily in Paris, Paris. Okay, so it's Paris, not Paris. So I really I liked it and then even though I don't speak French, I'm still learning how to speak French. And for school, I always wanted to learn how to speak French. I know a little bit of French. I attended French lessons in like 100, 200, 300 in university, but we stopped. But I didn't continue. But like I really want to know how to speak French. I'm like, okay, if I go there, I think I'll have a better understanding of how know how to speak French or understand their language, or understand their culture. That's one country I would really love to go to actually. So in case you're watching this, I want to sponsor me to France. I I wouldn't mind, please. I would not mind just seeing my dream on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> then another one is if I could eat only one type of food for the rest of my life, what would it be? I think my friends and family members already know this answer. Rice or spaghetti. Anyone. If you give me rice, I eat rice. I let it eat rice from the beginning of the year till the end of the year. So <laughs> it's rice. Then do I have any gym talent? Sleeping. Actually, I don't sleep like that. I don't have, I don't have, I don't think I have hidden talents. Mm -mm. I didn't have one. I didn't have one. But if you guys have hidden talents, just comment and let me know what your hidden talents are. Because me, I don't have, honestly speaking, I don't have. Then what's your favorite childhood memory? Ha, 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 ha. Childhood memory. Let me see. I have to think for this one. My favorite childhood memory. My childhood was not a very funny one. My childhood experience was not funny at all because the family was going through a lot. So there was not. I never went. I never left my house as a child. I was always indoors. I was always inside my house with my mom. My dad was off. Was never really at home. He was going to work and all that. So no, I don't think I have a favorite memory. If you write, if you write child memory, I don't think I have to write child memory because I was always indoors with my si my siblings. I'm just my sisters. In that with my sisters, my siblings, and watching Disney, cleaning the house, <laughs> sweeping compound. <laughs> I think my favorite memory was sweeping compound <laughs> or oh, cleaning cleaning the floor. But I don't have actually, honestly speaking, because I didn't I didn't go. Okay, I think I have one. Okay, and that was the only, and that's the only one where I actually went out, and that I went for my friends' 
and my classmates that was my friend at that point in time birthday party i am meeting mustafa yes i went for a birthday party where they gave us t-shirts and my mom told my aunties to follow me i very happy that i thought she allow me to go but she allowed me to go and i'm like okay that's the only time i actually went out in my life yeah that's it the biggest risk i've taken shooting my shots shooting my shots where i was disappointed and i was winning very fast <laughs> watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video what is this <sighs> i have to relocate i have to relocate this country is not for me that what ah no see you guys in my next video bye i don't even know if you guys can see me at this point